In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can model this parabolic curve in Grasshopper step by step. And I'm going to break down how you can model this in Grasshopper with simple steps. So be sure to watch the video till the end. And let's get started. So what we want to do in Grasshopper is to model this parametric parabolic curve. If I uh, just select these points, you can see, and if I move them, uh, I can update this parametric model. And we're also going to change this count, which I will explain later in this tutorial. So what we want to do is to, let's get started from scratch, and let's do the first step. Actually, the first step is to draw two perpendicular lines, okay? So this is the first line, this is the second line, and we actually need three points to define this parametric lines in Grasshopper. So let's get started. So we have to model these uh, two lines, perpendicular lines in Grasshopper. I'm going to go to the params menu, as you can see here, and select this uh, point. And let's just put this bifocals plug in so you can see what I'm doing. And now, uh, by just uh, control C, control V, this we have three points. I'm going to, to right click and set this point to zero. And when you connect the point, uh, you have to just select this display and go to gumballs, okay? You have to activate this. So if I just move this point a little bit up, uh, you can see it's going to move. Then I'm going to select this point, which is at the center, set one point at zero. And again, uh, at the third point, set one point at zero and move this in the X direction. So now we have these three points. We have to make those lines by going to the curve section and selecting these uh, line between two points, uh, simply just by connecting these two points with a line. So you can see that we have the first line here and then we have to connect the second point to the third point to have this line. So that's the first step. Uh, and you can see how easy it is. By changing these points, we can update uh, those two lines. And we're going to go to the next step. The second step is to divide these two lines into points, right? Because we want to connect them into lines, which I will explain in the next step. But in the second step, the division is really important. So we're going to use division. In Grasshopper, you can simply find that, and let's do that. So the next step is to divide these two lines into points, and that can be, uh, be simply done by going to Curve and selecting this uh, Divide Curve. That's really easy. Uh, we just have to use this Divide Curve. You can also type Divide if you want to uh, find it. And now we have to divide both of these lines into the same count. So we can just say maybe between 3 and 16 and now give it to the count. Uh, remember, you have to have an integer number slider. So it's just a complete division, right? And we can just increase or decrease this division. Uh, th that is the second step by dividing these lines. And we're going to go to the next step. The last step is to connect these divisions together, right? Assume that this is the first line, this is the second line, and we have divided this. So this is the first, second, third, and till the end. And for this one, because this is the direction, this is going to be the first, second, and till the end. And when we connect this with a line, the first of this point is going to connect to the set first point in the uh, line down here, right? And the second one is going to connect to the second one and till the end. So we're going to do that in Grasshopper. Okay, the next step is to connect these points together with lines. Uh, the most important thing is that if I go to the display section here and select this a point list, now uh, I can just show these points. Let's just right click and bake this. Uh, you can see here we have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 right till the end. That is for the uh, first line. Let's just do that for the second one too. And you can see it's completely, let's just move this one down a little bit. Now you can see for the second line, it's like zero, one, two, three. If I connect this with a line, what's going to happen is going to the zero is going to connect to the zero, the one is going to connect to the one, and the two is going to connect to the two. So that's exactly what we want for this parabolic pattern. Let's just get rid of these points. 
point list and again we're going to go to the curve and select this line that's really easy and we're going to connect these set of lines let's increase the number you can see uh, we're getting the results so that is the step of making the base of the pattern now we have to mirror in the next part okay the last step uh, which we need to model this pattern is to assume that this is the pattern. Uh, we have to mirror this in this uh, YZ plane, for example, to model this pattern. It's going to be like this. And then we have to, again, mirror these patterns in the XZ plane, uh, something like that. Uh, and then we will have these four uh, complete patterns of the parabolic curve. So let's just do that. Okay, the last step is really easy. We have to just type MIR, which is the mirror, and now we can just mirror those lines. Let's just do that. MIR, mirror. I'm going to mirror this line. The default is, I guess, a YZ plane. That's exactly what we want. That means, uh, uh, and I'm looking at this pattern from top because we can just uh, simply control that. Uh, you can see that this is the uh, Y. Okay, that's the Y one the Y and the Z direction, right? It's going to just mirror the pattern. And we have the second one. Again, we need another mirror. So I'm going to just type MIR and uh, mirror this one. This time I'm going to use the X, uh, Z plane. That's going to be like the X and the Z direction. So it's going to be like this, right? And I'm going to just say X, Z plane and also the lines okay so that's uh, all uh, all the lines we want these are the four and now we can just increase or decrease the number to produce that parabolic curve in grasshopper that's really easy you can see how simple it is to uh, produce that in grasshopper and we can just change these points to produce a new one just stretch that and if we move that in the x direction it's going to uh, uh, ruin the mirror okay but you will have a new pattern so it's going to be like this and we can also go to the perspective and move this a point a little bit up and you can see that we can produce this pattern so uh, that's the trick you can also use that to produce a 3d pattern in space and also you can change the division to have this and let's just look at this from top you can see it's going to produce this pattern and that was the tutorial of how you can model this parabolic pattern in Grasshopper. Hope you like it. And remember to subscribe to our channel. Like this video because uh, YouTube is going to show you our next tutorial if you like it. And comment below how was this tutorial. Uh, do you like this method which I explain each step and stop you so you can understand what's happening? Or you just like the traditional way I've explained it before? Uh, and uh, in, in our previous tutorials. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. <music>